We ended up winning 14 to 0. I have never won a game by that much before. Boom, what is happening, guys? Good morning. It's game day. Really excited about uh, the very first season that um, I'm playing here in Austin, Texas. I'm excited to see what's going to unfold. I'm also very stressed. It's, it's difficult right now. What I mean by that is like, you know, signing players up, making sure everyone's registered, making sure everyone is um is has has the registration fees paid right all that super fun good stuff uh, i'm like losing my mind over here my coach is like making me and the other captain do all this stuff so um it's times like this where i feel really stressed emotionally but i'm just trying to maintain my faith because as a christian i know that faith is the result of believing in things that you don't see yet. And what that means is that even though things look really stressful, even though things seem like right now they're not gonna pan out because just emotionally you're overwhelmed. And also on paper, everyone isn't registered yet and it's not going the way that I want it to go. I have faith that this is all in God's plan. To you, that might sound like, oh dude, like why are you so like, overemphasizing this little detail it's like just signing people up and it's, it makes sense that it's making you stress but like it doesn't require faith to sign people up uh, and what i've learned is that a faith in the little things translates to faith in the big things but what i mean is by me practicing faith in this situation and i believe that god can take me farther than i could ever imagine maybe one day even be a pro and have faith for something as big as that because that's a dream he's put on my heart and that's something that i really want to pursue it's game day today like i said i need to go gra grab some groceries there is no food in my fridge right now that's very important on game day so i'll take you guys with me to the grocery store vamanos <sighs> my friend's car Right here. It's not turning on. My motorcycle in there. Engine is dead. My fridge has no food. But I have faith that this is all happening for a reason. But does not take away from the fact that this absolutely sucks. Emotionally. Um, <clears throat> I actually have food. It's not like I don't have any food at all. On the bright side, I can actually fill my stomach up. I know there's probably people out there who are on a, who are on a similar path than I am, pursuing their dreams that they don't even have a roof over their head or they don't have even a fridge that they can even open the door. God tests up our character. He tests us by putting us in these like annoying circumstances that at the end of the day, they really serve to build up our character. They really serve to, to stretch us, right? I'm not happy because it's not the way that I expected this morning to go. Then the voice in my head starts questioning, like, are these guys even serious? Are these guys really, you know, focused? And doesn't necessarily mean that my thoughts are correct, but it's all right. I'm gonna give this into God's hands. God's timing is perfect in my life. And maybe I'll look back on this time in the future and <clears throat> realize that it was actually a lot of good that happened. This may cause some seeds to be planted that, that when, they, when they sprout, when they're harvested, when they are ready to bloom, they turn out to be really good. So let's see if I can't cook up some of these lentils instead. We're heading to the game in about 50 minutes. So, so yeah, I'll see you guys soon. So, I ended up making uh, this little bowl here. You got chicken, some potato, mushrooms, peppers, avocado, and bacon. And then on the side, we also have some lentils. But anyways, let's pray real quick, and then we will head over to the game. So, <clears throat> Heavenly Father, thank you for this food, God. I pray that it blesses me and nourishes my body. It gives me enough energy to continue doing your will. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Let's dive into it. Let's go. Boom. We made it to the field. 
behind me warming up. We got the new jerseys in. It's literally an exact replica of the Swedish team jersey. About to get ready to get on the field. I got my captain's band right here. Um, and I'll probably check back after the game is over. So wish us luck. Let's go Austin FC. Boom, guys, we are back home. It is Saturday now, or it is Sunday now. It was a pretty good game yesterday. Ended up starting around 6.20 and then I got home and it was about 11.30. So I just took a shower and I went to bed. We ended up winning 14 to zero. I have never won a game by that much before. The other team only had like nine players to start with. And then in the second half, only had eight. Yeah, we scored like six in the first half and then like eight in the second half or something crazy like that. I scored a pretty nice goal. I scored a goal at the outside of my foot from like 25 yards out. So I was pretty happy with that. Um, and also we had a clean sheet, so that was really good as well. So that's pretty much going to be the end of this video. I'm going to go ahead and get ready to go to church today. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, if you thought it was entertaining, um, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in a future video. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you later.